Welcome to this tutorial video from tutormeonline.co.za. This is a tutorial video for first year microeconomics students. And we're going to be looking at equilibrium and exactly what the fuss is about. And we're going to deal with it by means of a question. So we can look at the demand and supply schedule for cigars, which are as follows here on the left hand side of the screen. And we'll look at what the equilibrium price and quantity is. And we're going to consider a few events that occur. So let's start off by looking at what is the equilibrium price and quantity in this demand and supply schedule. So the first thing we have to ask ourselves, what exactly is equilibrium? So equilibrium is achieved when the quantity supplied, so in this case QS equals quantity demanded, QD. That is equilibrium. Quantity supplied equals quantity demanded. So now all we need to do is go and look at our demand and supply schedule. And we can see that the quantity demanded equals quantity supplied at 130. So we can say that the equilibrium quantity, so let's say QE, is 130, which means that the equilibrium price, in this case cents, so we make it um, price equilibrium, is 80 cents. So equilibrium is achieved where quantity supplied equals quantity demanded, and in this case it's 130. Now, if a cigar costs 60 cents, we need to describe the situation in the market for cigars itself. So, we can say at the price of 60 cents, our quantity demanded equals 150, our quantity supplied equals 110. So, we know that 150 is greater than 110, which means that our quantity demanded is greater than our quantity supplied. Now this simply means that we are demanding more cigars than what are actually being produced in the market. And therefore, to describe the market, we say there is a shortage in the market for cigars. If it was the other way around, if the quantity supplied was greater than the quantity demanded, the description would simply be there is a surplus of cigars in the market. As simple as that. Now suppose a new tobacco product enters the market and as a result the demand for cigars decreases by 40. Has there been a shift of or a movement along the supply curve for cigars? So we start off as usual by indicating the original positions. So we can say that we have demand zero there and we can do our supply curve so S zero and our original equilibrium point and as with all supply and demand curves we need to label our axes so we've got price on the vertical axis and we've got our quantity on our horizontal axis so let's put in our original market here and we know that the original quantity demanded at the equilibrium was a hundred and fifty so now they say a new product, a tobacco product, has entered the market, and as a result, the demand for cigars decreased by 40. So I'm just going to draw another supply and demand curve here at the corner, because this is for our new product. So this new product by itself has its own supply and demand curve. Now some of the demand from our cigars moved to our new tobacco product, regardless of what it is. And due to this, our demand for cigars decreased by 40. So if we decrease by 40, we know we're going to be here at 90. So how are we going to move from 130 to 190? Because some of our demand moved to our new product on the corner here. So what we find is that the only way we can achieve this is due to our demand decreasing, which means we have a shift in our demand curve. So we make our D1 and our new equilibrium E1, which is there. So we have a lower price, we can also see because the demand has now decreased. So to answer the question, has there been a shift or a movement along the supply curve for cigars? Well, there has been a shift of our demand curve. And we can indicate our shift by using our arrow. I want to thank you for watching this short tutorial video and make sure to check out our other micro and macroeconomic tutorial videos at tutormeonline.co.za.